When you're uh, going the extra mile, I like to say, don't forget to give the extra smile. And one thing I like about being at events like this is I get to network with ultimate professionals. Um, Josh, tell me about the company you work for and what you do. Uh, I'm the uh, senior sales manager for Paysetter Homes. We're based out of Austin, Texas. And you, you know, you've been the star tonight. You've been called out by Jeff several times for doing some extraordinary things. You've got an amazing team. Tell me about your team and what you're, you're doing out there. Uh, it is. I have a phenomenal team. Uh, I work with Lee Whitaker, and um, I've been helping to lead that organization as far as the sales team for the last three years. And I have to say, I inherited a very strong team, um, and proud to say that I've been able to continue that momentum and continue to grow it. But we've got a uh, strong, a peer-led group, and we are very selective on who comes onto the team, and that is a huge part of our success. No, and, I, and that was uh, amazing. You actually have like a filter process. Like it's hard for anybody to even join your team. Um, sales, leadership, it's in these people's blood. I mean, when we're even on the patio talking at night, we're not talking about sports and this, TV. You're talking, I mean, you're, you're networking, you're learning. We talked about something really amazing, and, and this is why I want you on the program. Josh believes that there's a different strategy with working with us uh, as a sales coach. What do you do different than most sales managers? I mean, my ultimate goal and what led us on the conversation initially was um, my goal is to help my team sell as many homes as they can possibly and reduce that stress level. Um, you know, sales is a difficult career. Um, there's a lot of obstacles that get in the way and you really need to keep yourself up and motivated And I know that when I sold homes, which I did for a number of years, there was no one that's going to put more stress uh, on, More stress on me than I am myself And so I know that about my team when you hire the right people I don't need to put stress on them I want to coach them and teach them ways to do the job at, again at a very high level and keep that stress level down and so you know we work on coaching to setting the right ex expectations and uh, just giving the, the, the buyer the best experience. But again, as a salesperson, you can be your own worst enemy at times. And so just try to help them navigate the road. You know, I think a lot of sales managers think, oh, I'm gonna gay, you know what, your job is on the line. I mean, we already know that in sales, we know that, you know, we don't get paid. We're already fired. The customer hires or fires up. There's a lot of stress, there's a lot of rejection. And we were talking about musicians or professional athletes. Talk about that. You know, we were talking about uh, football players in particular, um, the people that cover the wide receivers, the defensive backs. They um, really, they're the best athletes on the field. They can run as fast as anyone on the offense backwards. And as phenomenal as they are, they're going to get burned every once in a while. And they're trained to have a very short memory. And so that's what we want our people to have, a short memory. Whether you just had a cancellation, whether you just had a, a customer whose expectations weren't met and it wasn't your fault at all, or maybe it even was, that's okay. Get up, get to the next guest, put it in the rearview mirror, and let's just learn from it and move forward. Now you say, okay, keep a short memory. Tell me one more technique that you use to lower the stress level for your team to increase effectiveness. You know, I, I do a lot of talking, just, hey, where's your head at right now? And we kind of get more to the, the psychology and the mental aspect of it, because again, you can get inside your head and um, whether you haven't sold a home in a couple of weeks, you know, our job is very um, complex. And whether you sold 10 homes a month be the month before and you've gone two weeks without selling a home, we're so quick to beat ourselves up and ask, you know, have I forgotten how to sell a home? Geez, I haven't sold a home in two weeks. And of course, that's ridiculous. Um, so really, I want to keep people motivated, uplifted, and a lot of that's just talking to them like a human being and just seeing where they're at and seeing what's going on, if there's anything we can work on. Because at the end of the day, it comes down to two things. It's a, if there's an issue going on, it's either a belief issue or it's a technique issue and try to simplify it and try to focus on one of those things. And sometimes it is a technique thing. We, we just need to get back to the basics. Other times it's a belief and they need to be told that they're awesome and they need to keep doing what they are and it's gonna work itself out and it always does. Did you guys get that nugget?
there's belief and there's technique. We're going to end on that. Uh, any last shout outs, tips, recommendations? Shout, tell me. You know, just uh, trust your people, trust yourself, and uh, give your team the opportunity to, to shine. Um, be selective on who you bring into your organization. I tell you this, if you will focus a great amount of your time on that, it makes everything else a lot easier. And we've got a fantastic team and they hold me accountable to bring on excellent people to kind of elevate that team. And that's, that's what I have to say, exactly. I've been very impressed with, uh, I met some of your leadership yesterday. Very impressive team. And thanks for uh, taking the time to give back to our audience and uh, the industry.